NBCnews.com, concert billed as first live show in pandemic, ordered by Arkansas to cease and desist. <laughs> The venue for the Travis McGrady concert on Friday said it cut capacity to 229 people, but the governor said, you can't just arbitrarily determine when the restrictions are lifted. And I'm like, wait, wait, what? Isn't that, wait, what? We can do it, but you can't. Oh my gosh. We're like, oh, the, I mean, it just like, do they, do they not? Themselves. hear them yes thank you do they do, do you not do you not hear yourselves talk in arkansas venue planning to hold a country music concert with more than 200 people on friday will be served a cease and desist letter the state's governor said tuesday quote you can't just arbitrarily determine when the restrictions are lifted that is something that is done based on public health on a public health requirement governor asa hutchinson said during a news conference regarding, quote, an intimate solo acoustic performance with Travis McGrady scheduled, scheduled for May 15 at the Temple Live event space. And they got to be loving the promo out of this as much as they're hurting. I mean, anybody, a, a whole other sector, you know, we've talked about waiters, waitresses, uh, bartenders, strippers, uh, people in that direct service industry, but anybody with events, the, anybody with anything related to events, bound Ugh. the arkansas department of health issued a directive last week that said starting on may 18 indoor venues could hold events with 50 people or fewer and must adhere to other guidelines like arranging seating six feet apart venues that want to hold events with more than 50 people must be operating at less than 34 percent capacity and also submit a plan to the department right because government is the best arbiter of what is safe and what isn't oh right just, I mean, like, and, and the, the, just the, the blatancy of this is, is so insane, where he just says, you can't just arbitrarily determine. Well, that's what, it's a, that's what you're doing. You're deciding for other people. You're taking away the freedom to decide what is, what is risk. You're not, and, and be one thing, if, like, there's so many ways, I, man, I hate saying, it. it'd be one thing if this, it'd be one, but no, just, all I'm doing is pointing out the endless hypocrisy and the, the viciousness of, of, of the government racket as a whole. But like, it would be one thing if they were saying, we need to inform everybody and help you make your own decisions. We advise that you stay home. Not, we're going to come and fucking arrest you. We're going to send a SWAT team after you. Or we're going to fine you and jail you. And like, that's, it's, it's the softest tyranny at this point. It really is pretty lame. And, and I think it, in this day and age, in modern America, it's like if you want to bully America into a forced unemployment crisis, you don't want to be blatant about it, right? If you're government, you don't want to be, you don't want to like crank down too hard right away, but you do want enough of a show of force that people know there are real consequences. And in, in a way, they're tricking us into celebrating the defiance of the the, the pastors and and the, the Christians. And on Easter and the hairdressers and, and the gym and bar owners and surfers and paddleboarders and skaters and, uh, and parents and parks, all the, all the great civil disobedience activists in America now. But even by doing so, what we are doing is advertising their petty crackdowns. You know, it's a double-edged sword. I mean, I want to celebrate the defiance, but uh, and, and I think my audience is, is small enough that I'm not saying something that like by itself is going to turn the tide of how many Americans know that you can get arrested for this. I mean, that's kind of out there already. And it's in the mainstream. They want those absurd stories to get out there. They're not hiding them. Like what they're hiding is how bad the virus is. So our capacity is 1100. We've scaled down to 229 to meet CDC recommendations for social distancing. Not enough state requirements are even greater and they're being shut down now so asked at the time what the venue would do if such events weren't permitted by may 15 brown said we'll just have to cross that bridge when we get to it and, and i do want to encourage everybody uh involved with this concert to stay strong i mean i know this is silly to say this is the revolution we're going to a socially distanced concert but yeah this is 
kind of the front line of resistance right now. At least it's 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 part of the front line to get out and do this and to to say we're not you know we, we, you, the worst you can do is bully us into extreme social distancing, or you know maybe maybe I mean what would be really cool. And you know, a lot of concerts are, are are pretty expensive these days, right? I mean, how much do they charge? What's what's the most you've heard for like you know a mainstream general admission ticket for a concert these days? Um, I don't know. This is anywhere from like hundred to a thousand. Well, okay, a thousand wouldn't be a general admission ticket for anything on Broadway, oh, but like general admission. You, they're, they're ex I mean, you get general admission tickets, hundred yeah. to two hundred dollar range, pretty yeah. pretty typical, right? Well. If you're willing to spend that much for an evening, you know, concert experience, you can get a bubble suit made from China, you know, the, for twenty dollars. They'll, they'll give you a face mask and like like a full bubble suit. So you can go out, you get drunk and pass out, and unless you like rip your suit really bad or like you know, I mean, it's got a ventilator thing built into it. Like they can't cost. Like if we want to do that, we can do that. That's like we brought you that story last week that there was a rave clothing company. That is already making this suit, and I'm sure the first version of it is going to be the the pricey designer version. But as soon as we get the Chinese knockoffs, right. they'll they'll be sending them over here pre-infected. I mean, they'll be sending them over here at a very low price, and we'll be able to carry on with our lives as normal, even doing crazy things like going to concerts. <laughs>